When the enigmatic Satoshi Nakamoto minted the world's first cryptocurrency in 2009, the plan was to create a decentralized payments platform that would revolutionize how we buy and sell everything. But crypto has a dirty little secret that is very relevant to the real world. It uses a lot of energy. Mining via proof-of-work systems is the main reason for it. Not only do rigs take up power, they also generate heat. The more rigs you have, the hotter it gets. If you don't want your rigs to melt, you need some cooling. We already see effects scientists predicted, such as the loss of sea ice, melting glaciers and ice sheets, sea level rise, and more intense heat waves because of climate change. Thus, developers try to find alternatives for low-carbon, customer-centric electricity system through blockchain and decentralized technologies. Today, we will investigate a platform which is focused on building core infrastructure and shared technology, that increases integration of commercial solutions, and encourages community adoption. I'm Joey from KK Technologies. Let's discover Energy Web. Energy Web's mission is to accelerate decarbonization of the global economy. The Energy Web chain is built by applying features common to many cryptocurrencies, such as a shared infrastructure, an incentive scheme and a traceable log of information. Energy Web chain relying on real-world data, so it's different from other blockchain systems. Energy Web uses a variation of proof-of-work consensus mechanism, called Proof of Authority in short POA, to keep Energy Web chain's distributed network in sync. The Proof of Authority consensus algorithm leverages the value of identities, which means that block validators are not staking coins but their own reputation instead. Therefore, POA blockchains are secured by the validating nodes that are arbitrarily selected as trustworthy entities. The proof of authority model relies on a limited number of block validators and this is what makes it a highly scalable system. Blocks and transactions are verified by pre-approved participants, who act as moderators of the system and who must meet certain eligibility criteria, such as being a legally registered organization and being an official member of the Energy Web Foundation. To incentivize validators to perform honestly, they are compensated with Energy Web Tokens EWT, upon their block being included in the Energy Web chain. The Energy Web Token is the utility cryptocurrency that powers the blockchain. It was designed with the same goal in mind, to create applications in the clean energy sector. The token currently has two main uses. It is used to pay gas fees on the network for every transaction. This tax is then sent to reward validators for processing these transactions on the blockchain. EWT is also used as a payment source to finance the decentralized applications DApps, on the Energy Web blockchain. To sum up, by working directly with energy market participants, their idea is to build and deploy specific commercial solutions through EUDOS. Additionally, they are responsible for supporting, convening and advising market participants on how to create commercial and customer value with blockchain and other digital technologies. Cryptocurrencies are highly volatile, so your cash can go down as well as up in the blink of an eye. As always, you should never invest in something you don't understand. What are your thoughts about the Energy Web token? Would you use or invest in it? Let me know in the comment section below. Thanks for watching, if you find this video helpful. Please tap the subscribe button, 